guys. Welcome. How are you doing today? Um, welcome back if you're returning and welcome if you're new. I haven't really done much with myself yet other than wake up and kind of just kick around for a couple hours and not really do too much. And um, I am going to do for you guys today a quick, like, I need to get out the door five to ten minute makeup. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep the video at 15 minutes or under. Um, and we're just going to start to move along. So we're going to say, we're going to pretend that I already did my face stuff, but I'm actually going to be taking a shower and then, um, doing a, uh, my best makeup in a look. So, um, we're just going to do a quick five to 10 minute thing here. So, um, I'm also not grabbing necessarily super nice products because they're just going to come right back off my face. So I would start now, if I was actually going out, I would take a setting spray because I don't really use much primer anymore. I, my skincare has been good enough to act as a primer. So I kind of quit wearing primer. Uh, now I just use setting spray as a primer and I've been doing that for a few months now. And then, so I got to keep in the mindset that we're busy and we're trying to go quick. So then I would grab my e.l.f. Putty uh, Color Correcting Eye Brighteners. I use two of them. I use Fair and Light Medium because the Fair is too light. It brightens for me, but then the Light Medium is, it color corrects for me, but they both don't seem to do the same thing in it. So I mix them together to get kind of like my own custom perfect shade. And we're just going to, now the reason why I do this, you guys, is because I use less concealer and I feel like I get less creasing every time I put this down first. Every single time I feel like for the day, my eyes crease less every single time when I check just to make sure like, okay, I'll not do it the next day. And it, every time more creasing again. So this really helps. I think it's because it's a cream rather than a liquid contour so or a uh, concealer. So it kind of like fills those creases in a manner that's different from a liquid. So I just spray my setting spray and that is my uh, first and second step every day. Um, the first, well, the very first step is to put my skincare on and, um, I let it set for 10 minutes because I have extremely dry skin. So first I go in with my moisturizer for 10 minutes, let it sit. And then I go on with my, uh, I go in with the setting spray and then I do this one. Now, since we're on a quick thing today, I want to go ahead and get my SPF and my coloring in one. And since I don't have a lot of time, we're gonna do a lighter coverage today. So we're gonna do the Woe Glow, okay? So we're still getting our skincare. And um, also, don't ever mix anything with uh, your Woe Glow because you're gonna dilute your uh, SPF and then it probably won't be a true SPF uh, coverage for you. Uh, if you want to, just go on top of that. And I'm just gonna, oh, I'm not priming the brush, hello. Um, I just, I started, I quit doing this, what I just did, and I've started by priming my brush now. Um, a tip I learned from Nikki LaRose, she did five pro tips for beginners, and they were really good tips, you guys. I did a short yesterday um, of the three of the tips that I did use, and my makeup looked so good yesterday. It was insane. Um, but she talks about... Part of that is just really priming the foundation into the brush and coating it and then going in to put it on the face. It ends up looking kind of crazy. My brush is a little dirty. I need to wash it after today. I've been using it for about a week. So oh, the cat is bugging me. He's like trying to get my attention. He's scratching me and stuff over here. He's like, pay attention to me. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because the, the the fuller the coverage, the longer it takes to make it look good. So that's why we're going with just a light coverage to get us out of the house. Then I will go ahead and take my sponge just to kind of make that look a little bit better. Um, I don't really like the Woe Glow with the brush. I almost prefer Woe Glow putting it on with my hands or with the sponge because I want the Woe Glow to be, you know, in my skin for a, um, to protect me from the sun. So I kind of prefer to put it on with just my hands 
but I wanted to try the brush technique today because I had never used that brush with it. And now I know I don't like it just as I thought I would. Ooh, you know, I should have used my skincare one for that. I should have used my CC Skin Perfecting Brush to apply the uh, Wool Glow. I think I'll use that one next time to do that. So then we're going to go in and we're not doing... Um, contour today at all because we're in a hurry so we're gonna grab our concealer and I'm gonna grab my uh, tower 28 and we're gonna put her down And I'm using a different brush for my concealer again. I'm now using something more like this because I actually like the soft edges to kind of help blend it. Oops, I'm doing my concealer too soon. I gotta let it... And it, at least it was... I didn't hit the important ones. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to go back and... Um, I'm going to fluff up my eyebrows. I'm going to work on my eyebrows while I let that sit for a minute. This is one of Nikki's tips is to let put it on where it needs to be and then you let it sit and you do something else for about a minute like your lips or your brows or something like that. So I'm going to take this and get to work on my brows a little bit. This is the Milk Kush high roll gel, the tubing one, and nothing has really touched my eyebrows. I think I used some NYX a little bit last week just to, you know, I've been using this one since July when I got it, and I thought, well, I've got so many brow products, I should at least just use something else once or twice here just to even see what the difference looks like again, and I did, but I'm right back to this. I just, this is my holy grail for my brows, and it's the new, and it's not like the... The one with the fibers. It is the Kush High Roll Brow Tint Gel in Dutch. It's like a medium shade. Okay, where'd that brush go? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go back to that foundation. And I didn't even do contour today, you guys, and I am usually a contour girl. But, like I said, it's going to be, we're saying that I don't have enough time to do all that. So we're skipping contour and bronzer today. I might have grabbed the powdered bronzer, actually. Nope, I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to start to let that kind of... I don't want to let this one set too long, but I got it. We're good. Okay. That's actually good because it's not going to be in the creases. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take this brush now and I'm gonna turn my head upward and I'm just smoothing along here to make sure that when we go in with the powder we have this filled as much as possible. Any of these little holes. Any of the creasing. Okay, now we're going to go in with our powder. Now, Nikki LaRose showed a pro tip for doing your powder, you guys, and my eyes, my makeup did not crease, my, my concealer did not crease yesterday, and my makeup looked good for the entire 12 hours that I was wearing it, and I never reset my face all day. So I'm going to take a brush that's kind of like so... It's not too fluffy. And I'm just going to go lightly with the powder at first. She said to do a very light layer first when you do this. And look up. Be looking up when you do it because that's going to fill these lines. Okay. So you go in with just a little bit. Now, 
we're gonna go in again, but the second time we're going in, she said the second time you go in, you're gonna coat that brush a lot more. Now, a tip I saw from Kevin and the other guy from Bothered, Beautiful and Bothered, they said to do this press and roll. So I'm gonna look up, because he did say to look up too. Let's try his press and roll. Ooh. I'm doing it while I'm looking up. And also, less powder is more when you're setting. If you get too much powder when you're setting, you're gonna look cakey. And you don't want cakey. It's literally the less you put on is gonna be better for the under eyes. And I'm sorry if you're older, you're just gonna get a little creasing if you're older. You're either gonna, if you want full coverage, you're gonna get a little creasing. If you're willing to um, go with less coverage, then you can get better, less creasing. Um, but I love, if you have mature eyes, I'm 46, I have very, very dry skin and I have trouble getting the creasing. I use the Tower 28 Serum Concealer in 3.0 CC. And it is, uh, I love it. I also have the Tot Eye Doll by Lancome, and I don't mind that one. That one looks better as you wear it throughout the day. It gives better coverage, but uh, again, that's kind of my exchange for uh, the creasing on that one. Uh, a little bit more coverage, but I get a teeny bit more creasing with the Tot Eye Doll. But I got the Tot Eye Doll for $14.50, uh, half off at Sephora when I got it, so I got a great deal. So now, um, eyebrows are a necessity for me. I will not leave the house without doing at least my eyebrows. They're like my one thing. And the only other thing I use on my eyebrows is my Lift and Snatch pen by NYX in Espresso or Ash Brown. I can do either, but I prefer Espresso. And that is the only thing that has graced my eyebrows except for last week since July, you guys. It's been July, August, September, October, three and a half, four months almost that I've been doing this one, my eyebrows this one way and I love it. So now we're gonna go into this uh, liquid blush by e.l.f. and it's the shade Dusty Rose. This is one shade where you don't have to be, it's like a lot more forgiving than a lot of the other shades. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my e.l.f. liquid blush brush here. And we're gonna prime that blush into the brush. I always, prime my liquid and cream products before I put them on my face. Now this is, I'm doing, I didn't do a set my perimeter yet, so. I'm gonna try something different today. I'm not gonna go up as high and around as I normally do. I'm just gonna go kind of like so instead. Let's see, and then now I'm gonna prime with the rest of that. Prime the rest of it in for the other side. See what I mean? I had quite a bit um, compared to like the bronze bombshell and very well and gorge orange, the peach perfect and dusty rose are so forgiving. I just ordered you guys. I ordered the new elf lavender camo blush and I ordered the new contour uh, bronzer hybrid. Okay. So I'll let you guys know how they are when I get them. Uh, they just dropped, I think Friday and I ordered them last night. I placed seven orders, you guys. So I have a lot coming, by the way. Um, so I have coming in the mail um, five Ensley Rain palettes. Okay, I'm almost at 15 minutes and we're not done, wow. Okay, um, let's get, I got the brows done. Let's throw our lip on real quick and we haven't even done our eyeshadow. My goodness. You guys, normally we wouldn't be talking if we were getting ready in five to 10 minutes, right? All right, so here's our lip, and I just did that, and I'm taking my Kosas in Daydream. Because this I know I don't have to do a lot to touch up too, since we're being quick. Okay, so there's our lip, and that was the Wear of a Walnut by Makeup Forever, and then Kosas in Daydream. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take this e.l.f. blush in Rosy, Always Rosy. This and this are like perfect, uh, per a perfect pair. And then I'm just gonna grab my, um, what brush was I gonna use? Let's use, where'd it go? I'll use this one. 
So I'm just going to grab this brush today, take a little bit of that, definitely tap that off. Since it is a lighter blush, that way we won't lose the color today. Alrighty, perfect. The perfect counterpart. I love this. I use this so much. This is my most used um, blush and it's actually already down to here and I just got it this year. It's actually the most, one of the more recent ones that I got. I got it in, I think July and it's down to here. I used it for like a month straight that and this together because I loved them so much. They look so good. Okay. So now let's go ahead and, um, powder the rest of the face now that I've got that on. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my elf woe glow powder and this is in light and we're just going to set the rest and we still have to do our eyes remember you guys you're going to be able to do this because um it doesn't take that long when you're not talking and making a video i promise Okay, so that's all of that is on. So we just have the eyes now. And what we're going to do today for the eyes is um, we're going to do something a little unique, but it's going to be pretty simple. First thing I'm doing is I'm grabbing my Patrick uh, Star One Size Point Made Liners. I love these. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on my upper waterline. This is Busty Brown. I have it in the black and the brown. Audacious black and busty brown. I want to make sure I'm more accurate when I do the bottom line, but now I'm actually going to grab my Colfi and Cheeky Chiku. Mm. First, real quick, we need to grab the Milk Makeup Eye Primer. And I need clear today. I grabbed clear on purpose because I need it to be clear. I don't want color to it today. And I'm just going to tap that on, let it set really quick, and we'll go into the liner Chiki Chiku by Colfi. I like the Colfi one for graphic on the uh, skin part of the eye, and I like the uh, Petric Star one size for my waterline specifically. These uh, are really nice for like a graphic line. So today we're just gonna do a graphic line. These glide so nice and beautiful on the skin. Look at that. So beautiful. Perfect. Okay, so now I just need to grab a smudger. Oh no. Or brown up on my eye because of this. I should have set this. I, we might end up with noise coming in because uh, someone's back at the house from shopping, so they may come into my room to speak to me. So you guys, just so you know, I have to say, hold on, I'm recording. Hey, you guys, actually, my mom is old, and um, she's home from grocery shopping. So I'm just going to pause really quickly, and I'm just going to go help her bring that stuff in really quick, and I will be right back. Okay, she had everything herself. Okay, so now I'm just, so I wanted that nice brown line, and we're just going to take the Natasha. I need a nude because we're going quickly, and I'm going to grab, let's take a fluffy brush. 
take something pretty fluffy. This is a Trey Lewis B100, is it? Yeah. And I'm just going to take this one. We're going to do one shade all the way up and over. Let's do... Let's do... I'm trying to decide if I want stone or wit. Let's mix them. We're going to mix stone and wit together. There we go. Now this will set that. So it'll quit moving on me. There we go. Yay. And so I'm just kind of doing like a dusting over my eye. Now going just into wit without stone. Just to make it slightly pinker. Same thing on this side. Just deepen that pink a smidge. And we're just going to take a brush that's a little bit smaller underneath the eye. More of a pencil brush. And let's go ahead and take a... Let's take Tender right here. Use some shades I've never used. I've only used this two or three times, you guys. I need to like, get into it more. And I've had it since uh, the beginning of August. Yeah, I got this was my birthday present from my mom. And she got it for me at the beginning of August. Um, I actually am going to take Silhouette, the darker shade. I just really like a darker color there. Now, one reason I grabbed a Natasha is because I know that I can grab Natasha's formula and be quick with it. I was just going to take something and just throw a shimmer on the eye, but I wanted to give it just a bit more definition for you guys. Now I'm going to go back into that brush I just had, take a smidge more of Silhouette, and just kind of take it over that brown line that I did, that gel liner. It'll just soften it. Because I want this look to be more soft today. And then we're going to throw on our setting spray and our shimmer and our mascara and we're done. So consider this like a 10 to 15 minute look for the day, you guys. I would say this is not a 5 to 10. I would say give this, this is a 10 to 15 minute look to get you out the door. And like I said, obviously, if we weren't recording and making a video, it would have been faster. I'm really working on making shorter videos for you guys so that all my videos are not like an hour long um, just because I don't want you guys to have to feel like everything I make is so long. I'm just going into a tiny bit of vague to kind of blend it out on the bottom. Just that little bit deeper pink, pinky mauve. And lastly, we're going to take just a smidge of tender and vague and go back and forth between those two and stick just a bit of that in this outer corner. And then we're going to put our shimmer on. And I think I'll use Mia. And I really like Mia. Okay. Sorry, I'm looking up this way because of the light. All right, we're good. I just love how beautiful and soft and smooth Natasha is. I, I forget when I don't wear her how beautiful her formula is because I wear indie brands so, so much. I, I probably wear indie eyeshadows probably like 25 days out of the month, and I probably don't wear makeup only one day out of the month. So, And I do pretty much full beat almost every day. So this is different for me to even, you know. So now I'm no, I'm no primer or glues or anything like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a... Hmm, do I want Sheen or do I want Mia? Um, let's do... 
Let's do, let's do Mia. I like Mia a lot. So soft and pretty. Alrighty. And a glitter primer probably would have made this look brighter, but I think it would have also made it crease because it's so thin. So, and I think I'll just put a little bit of sheen right on top of that actually. Cause I like the two of those. Those are like my two favorite in here, sheen and Mia for the shimmers. There we are, and now we can put our setting spray on, throw the little bit in the inner corner. We'll just take Mia for the inner corner. And lastly, I'm gonna grab the tan bronze, and I'm just gonna grab the powder And I'm just taking a dab of the powder on my forehead, my nose, right here. Remember, this is just a tiny little bit, just a bronze a smidge, and now a highlight. And I'm just going to take this highlight today. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and show her off. Okay. Let me just put a cap on this at least. Oh, and then mascara, sorry. Forgot the mascara. And I'm just grabbing my Grande mascara. Um, this one I would not buy. It was a sample in the last dash to go for uh, Christmas. And I like that it makes my lashes like super soft and all, but I think you're always going to be giving up something. And so I think you give up, it makes them soft, but it makes other stuff. It makes kind of, I don't know. It doesn't, I don't feel like they don't make them longer, but they make them more voluminous. And this is the uh, Grande peptides, conditioning peptide mascara. It's not bad. It's just, I look for a voluminous and deep brown. Uh, I like length mostly. Okay. So I just hit these bottom lashes and we're good. Cause you guys know, I usually do all those other products and I did not today. This is your quick, anywhere you need to go, you can go anywhere you need to in this look, and you're gonna be just fine. Alrighty, let's set the setting spray on, and we're done. Which I don't even need the setting spray because I'm gonna turn around and wash this off, but just for your guys' effect, that's why I'm using a cheap one. One that I use for like my, spraying my brush. Alrighty, let me show you. And like I said, I know that this is longer than it says, but if we weren't making a video and you were just throwing these things on, you would definitely be able to do it quickly. I would say it's a 10 to 15 minute makeup. I could do this in 10 minutes if I hadn't been filming it easily. I did not go back with my brush. I should have at least... just to soften that right there. There we go. There we are. So what do you guys think? Quick, just light, kind of pinky, out the door. I'm fair. And I want to go and just need to go get like errands done or something or run to a doctor's appointment or whatever it may be. That's the look. And I hope you guys liked it. Um, I don't think there's really anything else to say for this video because that was all it was. It's not like a review or anything. Just uh, trying out some products for a quick look to be put together to look good enough to go anywhere. Yeah, I like it. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye.